Hi guys, here we come again with yet another important HSC proof. This proof is from the chapter pair of straight lines. And this proof comes for again very importantly for 4 marks. Now this proof is if you have a pair of straight lines passing through origin a square plus 2hxy plus by square then the acute angle between this pair of straight lines is given by 2 under root a square minus ab upon a plus b. We need to prove this. So let us start proving this. Suppose I have a pair of straight lines passing through origin a square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0. Then how do they look? Let us draw a Cartesian coordinate system. Then these two pair of straight lines will have two lines, line L1 and line L2. Line L1 will have slope M1 and line L2 will have slope M2. So let me draw. Let this line be line L1 which is having angle theta 1 with the positive direction of x axis and let this line be line L2 which is having an angle of theta 2 with the positive direction of x axis. If you observe carefully you will see there is an angle between these two lines and this angle will be nothing but theta 1 minus theta 2. So all we need to find out is this angle theta 1 minus theta 2 which is between line L1 and line L2. Simple. Now what are we going to do is first of all analyze ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals 0. As there are two lines in it, first line is having slope m1 and second line is having slope m2. We already know that m1 plus m2 is nothing but minus 2h by b and m1 dot m2 is equal to a by b. Also from 10th standard we have a formula for m1 minus m2 the whole square. The formula is pretty simple. It says m1 plus m2 the whole square minus 4m1 m2. Again telling you this formula is very important for solving some of the HSC sums. So what will it be? Minus 2h by b the whole square minus 4a by b. So it will be 4h square by b square minus 4a by b. So the LCM is b square hence I will multiply and divide by b. So we have 4h square minus 4ab upon b square. This is how we get m1 minus m2 the whole square. Now let us move and add one more page. So we needed theta1 minus theta2. How do we get that? So we will simply say tan of theta1 minus tan theta2. So the compound angle formula is simply tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 upon 1 plus tan theta 1 into tan theta 2. Going back to the original diagram, we know that this m1 is nothing but tan theta 1 and m2 is nothing but tan theta, tan theta 2. So we are going to make use of this. So tan theta 2. So let us go back to the original sheet. So what will I say? I will say tan of theta 1 minus theta 2 is nothing but tan theta 1 is m1 minus tan theta 2 is m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2. We need the acute angle between the two lines and we apply the mod. If we go back we have already calculated m1 minus m2 the whole square which is nothing but 4h square minus 4ab upon b square. So what we will do is I will apply add one more page and write down m1 minus m2 the whole square is 4h square minus 4ab upon b square. Let us take square root. 
सो एम वन माइनस एम टू वुड बी इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ फोर एच स्क्वेर माइनस फोर ए बी अपॉन बी स्क्वेर सो इफ आई टेक फोर कॉमन इन साइड द रूट आई हैव एच स्क्वेर माइनस ए बी अपॉन बी स्क्वेर विच इज नथिंग बट टू अंडर रूट एच स्क्वेर माइनस ए बी अपॉन बी सो दिस इज अवर एम वन माइनस एम टू मॉड अगेन वी हैव टेन ऑफ थीटा वन माइनस थीटा टू इज इक्वल टू मॉड ऑफ एम वन माइनस एम टू अपॉन वन प्लस एम वन एम टू सो एम वन माइनस एम टू इज नथिंग बट टू अंडर रूट एच स्क्वेर माइनस ए बी अपॉन बी एंड दिस इज वन प्लस एम वन एम टू इज ए बाय बी सो वील जस्ट क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई एंड गेट दी आंसर सो अवर फाइनल आंसर वुड बी टू अंडर रूट एच स्क्वेर माइनस ए बी अपॉन ए प्लस बी दैट इज अवर टेन ऑफ थीटा वन माइनस थीटा टू therefore theta 1 minus theta 2 is the acute angle between the lines l1 and l2 can be written as tan inverse of mod of 2 under root h square minus ab upon a plus b and this is how we have proved this theorem very simply so we have calculated the angle theta 1 minus theta 2 in terms of the slopes which is nothing but 2 under root h square minus ab upon a plus b thank you for watching the